Welcome to Cardboard Box. This is Hover. This is Armor Hide. Put them together and you get Timeline Tougher. He's most commonly known as BotCon Hover. That's because he was an exclusive toy sold at BotCon 2007. He came bagged with Timeline Springer. But I've got better things to do tonight than talk about that guy. After all, you're here for Hover. This bot was a repaint of 2005's Cybertron Armor Hide. It's only the second visual design of the Huffer character, coming a whopping 23 years after the G1 toy. Took them long enough. Bakon Huffer turns into a Volvo FH globe chopper truck. Completely unrelated to that, he comes with one of these. It's a cyber key. You can use it to activate his missile gimmick. All you have to do is put it in his mouth. And just like Cyberverse Armor Hide, he comes with a tow arm and hook to turn him into a tow truck. In bot mode, the tow arm is used as a rifle. Notice how this tow truck has a special tampograph on his doors. It says, Cybertron Wrecker Service. I don't know much about the Wreckers team, but I didn't think Huffer was a part of them. Maybe that's something from the alternate timelines continuity. I don't know. If you know, let us know in the comments. The Cyber Key can conveniently store on the tow arm. But enough of that. Here's how he compares to G1 Huffer, Kingdom Huffer, Cybertron Armor Hide, and Movie Armor Hide, who is also from 2007. He came packaged with instructions, Notice that it says Timelines on those instructions. He also came with an index card featuring tech specs and a bio. If you'd like to read it, pause the video. Now. Good. Now let's get rid of that tow arm and get him transformed into Bopper. Huffer certainly looks tough enough to be a wrecker. Here he is next to Huffer, Huffer, Armorhide, and Armorhide. I feel like this guy has a bit more paint than his mold mates. Well, at least thicker paint. The chest grill is blue plastic that's been painted with thick orange paint, some silver, a little red, and oddly enough, a small patch of green. I don't understand the green. There's no green anywhere else on this guy. What's up with the green? The head, for instance, is actually orange plastic that's been painted blue, silver, red, and even orange. You see that bit of excess red paint near his right eye? You may think that's an unintentional paint splotch, but I like to think of it as a prison or gang tattoo. Maybe it's a little red teardrop. In my head, this guy has done some hard time and has seen some tough in his life. The head is on a ball joint, so it's got a wide range of movement. Arms can rotate 360 degrees at the shoulder. His transformation joint acts as a reverse butterfly. He has ball jointed elbows with a bend of greater than 90 degrees. His forearms can rotate a full 360 degrees. The chest gimmick and missiles can still be activated with the cyber key while in bot mode. He can lean back on the transformation hinge. The knee pads can flap to the position of your choosing. The hips are T-mounted ball pegs that allows the legs to spread this far. He has a deep knee bend. He can kick forward this far and back this far. This is a powerful, macho interpretation of Hover. I'm really glad Hasbro gave his blessing for this repaint to be made. But in the end, it's just an overpriced orange armor hide. Don't pay excessive eBay prices for this guy. You can still find him at a reasonable price if you're patient. I got mine from a private sale negotiated at the Buy Sell Trade Forum over at Cybertron.ca. Check them out. If you like this mold and want to pick it up, do yourself a favor and choose one of the armor hides instead. The black one is probably easier to find because it came out with the movie line. It also has a very crisp paint job. Are you a sucker for repaints and exclusives? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, Cardboard Bots. See you next time. Like my vids? Buy me a coffee. It's easy. Visit coffee.com slash cardboard bots.